Hello everyone, this is Sudipto from Technical Potpourri and welcome to my new video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about all the new features and enhancements that are coming up along with Winter 24 release regarding sharing. I have a dedicated YouTube playlist where I keep on updating contents about new changes that are coming up with Winter 24 release. So if you haven't checked that out, please go and check that out. I'll put the link in the description as well as on the top right corner of this video. So I dedicate a lot of time in preparing this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like icon, share with your colleagues, share with your friends. I really appreciate that. So no more talking. Let's see the announcements. As you know that you can share accounts with your other team members through manual share or through account teams. So this feature is all about to create a report to find out who is having access to the account or who this account is shared with through manual share or account team. So let's see that in action. So here I am in my winter 24 org. So first thing that we need to do, we need to create a report type. So for that, I'll go to my settings and from here I'll search for report types and I'll create a new report type and here I'll select the option primary objects as account share and give the name as account share report and I'll put it under accounts and contacts and click on next and then click on save. Now if I go back to my report section I can start creating a new report. First thing I'll choose this new report type which is account share report. Click on this one and here you have the option to select multiple fields for example account name, what is the contact access, what is the case access, what is the opportunity access, who this is shared with and what is the reason for the share right and if you do a refresh run you see there is no account shared. So let's open an account and let's try to share. For example, let's open this age communication and let's do a manual share. And let's share with, I have another user called James Bond. So this account is going to share with James Bond where the account access will be read only, case access which is going to be read only, contact access is going to be private, opportunity access is read only. Now click on save. And now if I come back to the report and do a refresh, what you can see this age communication is being shared with James Bond through manual sharing where the type of contact access is private, case access is, case access is read only and opportunity access is read only. So this is a very powerful feature. Now you can create a report to find out all the manual sharing for your accounts where those accounts are being shared with multiple users through manual sharing. Okay, so with that it's time to move to the next feature. So the next one that I'm going to talk about, like you have your public group in your org and there are multiple users inside that public group. So how you can create a report to find out what are the different members that you have inside multiple public groups. So you have an option to create a report after winter 24 release. So let's see that in action. So again, I'll start with the report type. So first I need to choose a custom report type and here in the primary object, I need to select a group member and let's say, give a name as group membership put it under uh, the other reports and click on next and click on save with the report type being created let's go back to the report and start creating a new report here I'll choose uh, group membership as a new report type and then I'll click on start report. Here you can select the group name. You can select the user's full name. And if I do a refresh and run the report, currently there is no group in my org. So why don't we go and create a new group? Let's give the name of the group as hello world. And let's add some users. So let add all four of them and click on save. So now I have a group and inside the group I have four users. Now if I refresh this page, it will show me that this is my group and this is my list of users. And if I make a, another group, let's say I create another group as Hello Canada. And here I'll select only 
two users like James Bond and Shrip Tadev. Click on save. It's to refresh. Then what I can do, I can make a group based on the name. And what it will tell you that this is the group where we have two users. This is a group where I have four users. So this report is very helpful. This report is going to tell you all the groups from your org and what are the people inside that group. Okay, so it's time for the next feature. So this feature is very powerful feature and it needs a dedicated video. So I'm going to publish a dedicated video giving a detailed description or detailed demo on this topic. But today I'm going to talk about at a very high level. So what is happening after winter 24 release? So basically it's bringing a huge change in terms of how the account sharing recalculation is happening today. So after winter 24 release, Salesforce is going to enable faster account sharing recalculation and the way it's doing by not storing the case contact and opportunity implicit child sharing. So let's see that in action in a winter 24 org and try to understand what the changes that are coming up after winter 24 release. So before we start, a couple of things that we need to understand is what is the sharing settings in my org. So if I go to the sharing settings, the OWD of my account and contact contract is private. My contact is private, my opportunity is private, my case is private. So everything is private in, uh, in terms of OWD in this org. So let's understand what role I have in this org. So I have one role, which is sales manager. And in sales manager, the contact access given is like users in this role can view all contacts associated with the account that they own, irrespective of who owns the contact. Same, they can view all the opportunities, even though the opportunities are not owned by them, as long as the account is owned by them. Same is the case. So they can see all the cases associated with the account which they own, and it doesn't matter who owns the case. So I have a user in the org, which is called James Bond, and James Bond role is sales manager. So James Bond is supposed to see all the contacts, all the cases, and all the opportunities associated with the account which James Bond owns and it doesn't matter who owns the associated contact case or opportunity. I set up one account which is Burlington, this account. And as you can see, this account is owned by James Bond. But if you see the contact, which is first contact is Jack. If I open Jack, Jack is not owned by James Bond. It's owned by me. Similar way, if you see the opportunities, this opportunity is not owned by James Bond, it's owned by me. Similar way, if I open one case, this case is also not owned by James Bond, it's owned by me. So James Bond will get access to all these contacts, opportunities and cases because James Bond owned this account and all these cases and contacts and opportunities are related to this account. Now the way sharing works in Salesforce is at the back end, there is a share object for each object. For account, we have an object called account share. For contact, we have a contact share, case share, and opportunity share. So every time one record is shared with another user, so it creates an entry on the share object. So before winter 24 release, what used to happen is that on the contact share object, there was an entry for James Bond, that James Bond can access this contact because of the implicit sharing. Similar way on the opportunity share object, there will be entry that James Bond can sh access this opportunity because of the implicit sharing. Similar way on the case share object also, there will be an entry that James Bond can share this case because of the implicit sharing. Now imagine that this account will have over the period of time, thousand cases. So for all these thousand records, there will be an entry on the case share object because James Bond will get access to all the cases. So if you have thousand cases under this account, you will have thousand entries inside your case share object because James Bond will have access to all those thousand case records because of implicit sharing. And this record will keep on increasing as the number of cases, opportunities, contact increases against this account. Now, to improve the performance, what Salesforce is bringing is that after winter 24 release, there will be no record on the contact opportunity and the case share object. 
if the record is being shared with the account owner due to implicit sharing. But the question is then how it will be decided that James Bond will get access. So that is something that happening when James Bond will try to access the opportunity. It will be decided at the runtime whether James Bond can access this opportunity or not. There will be no record created on the share table. So let's see that. So for that, I'm going to execute some query. So when I execute this query, what you can see is that the owner is having access to this account because this account is owned by this person and this person is basically the James Bond. So James Bond owns the account and James Bond has access to the case record as read and contact as read and opportunity as read because James Bond role provides case access, contact access and opportunity access. Now, one of the case from this account is basically this case. Now, if I try to access the case share table for this case, Let's see what it will show. So for that, I'm going to go to the case share object, case share table, and case ID is basically this case ID. Now, if I execute this query, what I can see, this table is only have access, only have one entry, where it's telling this, this case is basically shared with this particular user, which is basically me. And that's okay because I am the owner, right? So I can always have access to the case. But James Bond can also access to the case, but there is no entry on the case share table because James Bond is having access to this case due to implicit sharing. And after winter 24 release, if user is getting access to the case record or opportunity record or contact record because of implicit sharing, you will not find any on the share object. That's the change that is coming up. For example, if I go back to my con uh, to my account and open this contact, James Bond can access this contact even though the contact is not owned by uh, James Bond. But if I execute a query on the contact share object for this particular contact Jack Rogers, what I can see there is no entry that James Bond can access this contact. It's only telling that Sudipta Dev can access this contact because Sudipta Dev owns the contact. He is the owner. That's fine. But there is no record on the contact share table where the row cause is implicit sharing. So that's the change that, are, that is coming up after winter 24 release. So I'm going to publish a dedicated video on this topic very soon. Hopefully by the time you are watching this video, my other video on this dedicated topic is already published. And if it is published, then you will find the link in the description as well as on the top right corner of this video. You can go and check that out to understand this concept in more details. Highly recommend that you please go and check that out and understand what is getting changed and how it's going to impact your implementation. So it's time to say thank you to all of you. If you think this video is helpful, please share with your friends, share with your colleague. And if you like this video, please hit the like icon, share and please subscribe to my channel so that you came to know about all my upcoming videos. Till then, stay safe. Thank you. Bye bye.